boys. It's Armnad. Today I wanted to make a video about five helpful tricks that most new players and even some veteran players probably don't know about in GTA Online. Let's get right into it. Here's number five. So guys, at number five, I have a trick that uh, some of you guys probably won't know about. Uh, you're going to need a CEO office or the ability to become a CEO, which means you need a CEO office. So if you don't have a CEO office, then this unfortunately will not apply to you. So when you get killed by the cops and they impound your vehicle, it goes to the impound and you can either go there and pay $250 to get it back legally without a wanted level, or you can steal it, which is what most people do. But there's actually a third way of getting your vehicle out of the impound, and that is to register as a CEO and call your assist. And as you guys can see right here, you can ask her to get your vehicle from the impound and she will deliver it right beside you. Um, it's very convenient. It costs a thousand dollars, but if you're, you know, across the map in Polito Bay or something like that, it is a lifesaver, boys. If you don't get it out of the impound and you call another vehicle, your vehicle that was in the impound will be destroyed and you will have to pay the insurance, which, uh, you know, depending on the vehicle can be upwards of $10,000 to a maximum of $20,000. So, you know, not everyone has that kind of, uh, kind of cash to be spending. This is a, uh, is a really good way of, uh, avoiding that. So anyway, guys, let's move right into number four here. So guys, at number four here, I have an alternative way of retrieving your vehicle. Um, if it's just a little bit too far away, instead of calling your mechanic, there's a faster way, uh, that can save you a couple seconds for sure. You know, and in some situations it could save your life. Basically, here's me calling my mechanic and and asking him to deliver me my adder. And as you guys can see, it takes quite a long time, but if you already have a vehicle out and you want to drive that vehicle more, but it's too far away or it's just, it's inconvenient for you to go and get it or whatever, you can actually open up the interaction menu and go to vehicles and you can request personal vehicle as long as you have one out already on the street. This will deliver your personal vehicle to you a lot faster than calling the mechanic, waiting through the two rings and then, you know, going through your garages and trying to find out which vehicle Vehicle you want. If you're looking to get a vehicle really quick, you can do this and uh, you can start driving away or driving to wherever you need to go. So I think it's pretty helpful. Pretty much it. Let's move right into number three. So guys, in number three here, I have something that's a little bit interesting that I feel like a lot of people probably don't know about. And that is when you're climbing a steep hill, say you're on the side of Mount Chiliad or you're just on a hill that you're trying to get up, but you just can't make it. Uh, you know, you get to a point where your car starts sliding backwards down the hill and uh, you can't make it up or you're at the bottom of the hill and you just can't quite reach the top. There is a way that kind of helps with this. And basically that is if you hold your handbrake at the bottom of the hill, or if you're sliding backwards and you can manage to stop your vehicle and hold the handbrake, you get a traction bonus when you release the handbrake at full acceleration. As I'm sure you guys know, if you're revving your car and you got the handbrake on, it won't move. Basically, there's a little weird mechanic where you get a tiny bit of bonus traction. When you are holding the handbrake, you pin the gas down and then you release the handbrake. You get launched fast, uh, forward faster, and uh, it's actually very helpful. So as you guys can see in this clip, I try to go up the hill without using the handbrake, and then I go up using the handbrake, and as you guys can see, it actually does make a slight difference, and I am able to get up the hill in the second part of the clip. Thought that was an interesting tip for you guys in case you're ever trying to, you know, drive up the backside of Mount Chiliad or whatever. Um, I think it's pretty helpful. Anyway, with that being said, let's move right into number two. All right, guys, so in number two, we have this weird thing where you know there's sometimes those hills where you can't just you can't climb them and uh and you also can't get down them without falling um so with this hill you know you get to that certain point and your guy just sort of like falls back because he can't climb it or when you're going down it he just falls down because i don't know he loses his loses his footing or whatever right now, when you have your ADS on, when you're aiming down sights and you try to climb the same hill, your character is actually able to make it up. And the same way going down, uh, your character will not stumble. This doesn't work on any surface. If Obviously, if it's like an 80 degree angle, you're still not going to be able to climb it. Uh, but you will have a better chance if you ADS and uh, and try to climb it. So I thought this was a cool one for you guys. I, th I, think, uh, I think a lot of you guys will probably learn something with this one. So anyway, and with the last one, we have something that I'm sure many of you know about, but if you don't know about it, it can save you a little bit of time, which is really nice. So let's get right into number one. All right, guys. And at number one here, we have this trick where if you're trying to steal a vehicle off the street, you can either go through this animation where you run up to the car, you smash the window with your elbow, you open the door, you get inside, 
you hot wire it, and then you can start it up and start driving. But there's another way of doing it that actually saves you about two seconds uh, whenever you're stealing a car, which of course can mean the difference between life and death in some situations. So what you do is you shoot the window of the car out, which allows your character to not have to do the elbow animation of breaking the window. Somehow you can unlock the door, I guess, magically through the window or through the door. And uh, anyway, it'll save you about two seconds as you guys can see right here. So anyway, guys, I hope this helped you. Hope you learned something. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna make a part two to this. Hopefully have some more tips for maybe some of the veteran players who already know about a lot of this stuff. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like down below. If you didn't, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Peace.